My name is Danielle Mora. I work at Brick Township Memorial High School and I teach Spanish. I am the advisor of the Spanish Honor Society. And my students and I enjoy putting the boxes together every year. I've been filling the shoe boxes with my classes for about two years, but I've been filling them for six years, like total, because I've done four years on my own and then two years with the students. It's very exciting for the students to fill the shoe boxes. We have different categories that they have to go out and shop, so they're excited to choose the category they like. They enjoy picking whether it's going to be a boy or a girl, which I do half and half. And they get excited because they go to the store, and last year they got a Barbie doll that sang at, for the child, and then they got some cool books, and they bought um, toys and different things like that for the students. And it, just, it made them feel good, like they were being helpful and making someone else joyous. The students feel excited about the shoe boxes because they get the chance to go out and shop for the child. And I think it's fun for them because they try to imagine what the child would like, what their reaction would be. And when they come in, they're very excited to put everything in the boxes, to assemble it, to see what the child received. And it's a good feeling for them because they see what it's like to do good for others. To encourage someone to fill a box for a Christmas operation child, if they were unsure of how to fill the box, I would say just go back to your childhood, remember what you enjoyed when you were little, and think about what would make another child happy. Also, if you have a grandchild or a daughter or a son, you could take them with you and then it could be fun because they could also have that connection and they could enjoy shopping for the other child and give you ideas because a lot of times they might recommend something that you would have never thought of and then it could be really helpful. I think that it's a great opportunity to fill the Christmas boxes and in my heart I always believe that maybe the little boy or the little girl will be brought, brought to Jesus Christ and they will have a faith just because someone else is doing something for them just out of the kindness and love of their own heart there's no other motive behind it they're just doing it because they want to be good and see a child be happy. Our family has been doing Operation Christmas Child for Probably this is our fourth year gonna do it. And so on the day of filling up the boxes, we as a family go to whatever store we choose to and we make it all about the children that day. Each child takes a box, they fill it up according to what's on the list of approved and uh, they're excited. It's great, it's a great feeling. I'm excited for the, kid, for the kids to get the gifts that I picked out for them. It makes me feel happy when I fill the, the boxes. I'm excited because they, they get to have the stuff that we have. I bet they're excited too that the stuff th that they get to have that they never had. I like getting them as gifts so they know who Jesus is and they can feel the love of Jesus. The idea behind having the children of PGC involved in Operation Christmas Child was that we would have them take what they know about their Heavenly Father and touch the heart of a child across the world and hopefully bring them closer to Jesus. What better way than them to open up these boxes of gifts and see something from another child across the world and be inspired by their words. We spoke about how something so simple as Jesus loves you or Jesus knows you, they are touching a child across the world in a hopeless situation and using simple statements like Jesus loves you to intrigue them and to draw them closer to the Lord. Each child created a handmade gift. They got to choose from a variety of different things. There were some necklaces, some bracelets, um, they had some little um, sun catchers, and they each made a card. They got to go to the table and pick something that they liked and create it for um, this child that they've never met. After they had watched the video, um, I had said to them, you know, what are some things that you guys are asking for for Christmas and what are some things that you have gotten for Christmas? 
And then I said to them, could you imagine wanting and hoping and praying and wishing for a blanket for Christmas because you hadn't had a blanket before? or a pair of shoes or a sock and you could really see the curiosity and the light bulb go on and they kind of were thinking wow you know where they're asking for you know baseballs and and soccer balls and new games for their gaming systems these kids are just wanting to have a blanket you could see our children really being affected by that and wanting to put more effort into their words and these gifts that they were going to make and, and ship over to these kids across the world. In becoming a drop-off team leader for Operation Christmas Child, I was required to watch several training videos. And part of one of those videos was a testimony from a young girl named Judy. She lived in an orphanage from the time that she was born till she was 16 years old. And the condition in the orphanage was really bad. And she was hopeless and discouraged until at six years old she received hope in the form of an Operation Christmas Child shoe box. And her favorite thing in that box was a picture of the little American girl, as she called it, holding up a sign that says, Jesus loves you, and I do too. And that gave her so much hope. But unfortunately, she was still in an orphanage, and seven years after that, she ran away to the mountains, crying and discouraged and blaming and questioning God for her circumstances. She sat down and she remembered that picture of that little girl, and she pulled it out of her pocket and looked at it and remembered the hope and the love that she felt. And three months later, she gave her life to Christ. And that is why I wanted to become a part of helping our church and other church facilitate boxes to these children, to bring them the love, and the gospel, and the hope, and the love of Jesus, and hopefully change these child's lives and impact them for God.